The 2024 Hyundai Tucson is a head-turner among compact SUVs, wearing a stylish wardrobe wrapped around an upscale but practical cabin. Although there's a hybrid model that we review separately, the non-hybrid Tucson is powered by a 2.5-liter four-cylinder powertrain with an eight-speed automatic and either front or all-wheel drive. While the Tucson won't satisfy driving enthusiasts looking for gratifying handling or thrilling acceleration, it does deliver a plush ride and composed demeanor that most of you buyers will find agreeable. Entry-level models offer a high-value package with more than just the basics as standard, and those wanting more luxury will find it on the Tucson cell and limited trims, both of which capture the feeling of a premium car without the usual added price that goes with it. If you like it, subscribe and join the Carinthos family. These trims even offer features and that rivals, like the Honda KRV, the Toyota RAV4, and the Volkswagen Tiguan don't, making the Tucci a natural choice. If you're after something in this class with a premium vibe for 2024, the Tucson brings new safety features to the table, such as all-occupant seatbelt reminders, rear-side airbags, and steering wheel haptic feedback to alert the driver to warnings from the lane keeping assist and blind spot monitoring systems. Hampton Gray will now be available in all trims, and the XRT model gains a black headliner. Models equipped with ambient interior lighting now offer light shows in 64 different colors. The 10.3-inch touchscreen will now be standard on cell convenience, XRTE, and limited trims, while cell trims and up will now feature dual automatic temperature control with an auto defogging function. The inline trim has been dropped from the non-hybrid Tucson lineup, but reappears on the hybrid model. We suggest the cell convenience trim as it offers a great balance between features and price. It comes standard with heated front seats, blind spot monitoring, adaptive cruise control, a sunroof, and a 10.3-inch digital gauge display, among other niceties. A rugged-looking XRT model is available, but buyers hoping for a high-performance turbocharged four-cylinder under the hood will be disappointed to learn that this trim amounts to nothing more than an appearance package. A 187 HP 2.5 lighter, four-cylinder is standard and comes with an eight-speed automatic and either front or all-wheel drive. The Tucson offers adequate pep for both city driving and highway passing maneuvers, but lead-footed drivers will yearn for more power. At our test track, our all-wheel drive limited test vehicle made it to 60 mph in 8.8 .8 seconds. The more powerful hybrid and plug-in hybrid models, reviewed separately both feel quicker, but don't expect Toyota RAV4 prime level acceleration from either of them. While the Tucson is no sports car, its handling is confident, its steering is reasonably crisp, and its ride is agreeable. What's most striking about the Tucson's driving demeanor is how quiet and refined it feels when cruising. It's these traits that give the SUA sense of luxury that is rare to find in this class. The EPI estimates that the 2024 Tucson should deliver as high as 25 MPG city and 32 MPG highway with front wheel drive. On our 75 MHP highway fuel economy route, a Tucson XRT delivered a disappointing 26 MPG. The Tucson sports a simplistic but modern dashboard design with a digital gauge display, a push-button shifter, and a touch-sensitive control panel for the climate control system and infotainment. Hyundai's flagship Palisade SUV and the brand's recently redesigned Sonata and Elantra sedans have served as a sort of watershed moment for the company's interior designs, and the new Tucson continues the trend with a thoughtfully arranged interior filled with quality materials and luxury features. The Tucson's rear seat space and cargo area are both larger than the outgoing model, providing more passenger comfort and practicality. Behind the hybrid's back row, we fit nine carry-on suitcases, and the luggage capacity rose to 22 bags with the seat back stowed. A standard 8.8-inch touchscreen is integrated into the dashboard with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A larger 10.3-inch screen with built-in navigation is optional, as are features such as Sirius 6 M satellite radio and an upgraded Bose stereo system. Other high-tech offerings include Hyundai's Digital Key smartphone app, which provides lock and unlock features as well as an option for remote start. A host of driver assistance features will be available, many of which will come standard. Key safety features include standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection, standard lane departure warning with lane keeping assist, available adaptive cruise control with lane centering assist. In the compact SUVBSF market, only one rival offers as much warranty coverage as the Tucson, and that's its corporate twin, the Kia Sportage. The Hyundai still holds an advantage over the Kia in this area, though, thanks to its generous complimentary scheduled maintenance program. 
Limited warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 10 years or 100,000 miles. Complimentary maintenance is covered for 3 years or 36,000 miles. At the end, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Let us know in the comments section which videos about which cars and games you would like to see. We would like to read your thoughts and criticisms and make more interesting and good projects for you.